All right, guys, let's have a little bit of fun here. Uh, so <laughs> this is wild. So Wolf Blitzer, um, you know, he he's the classic CNN prop. They basically, whenever they're making changes in the schedule, which they do all the time, by the way, and they just did it because their ratings are abysmal. They just give Wolf Blitzer like 12 more hours a day. Like, all right, bring out the guy who's as boring as watching paint dry. Give him more time on air. Because, you know, that'll really help in the ratings massively. So, uh, and that's exactly what they're doing. So here he is hosting one of his like 12 shows on CNN. He's talking to Jamie Raskin here. But this moment went viral for the very simple reason that Wolf is horrifically sick. And the entire time, he is desperately trying his best not to blow chunks directly into the camera as the world watches. Okay? So a little bit of fun here. Kind of feel bad for Wolf, not gonna lie. Uh, but you take a look and we'll we'll discuss it. Yeah, it does look like a majority of the justices, the conservative look at his justices, face. arrived at the oral arguments today with their minds completely made up. Of course, they're using different hooks to hang their hats on. Some of them seem to think that the president is not covered by Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which the rest of them, I think, agree is ridiculous. The others seem to be congregating around the argument that was offered oh, by man. Trump's uh, able lawyer, uh, basically making the point that, um, <clears throat> well, Trump might be disqualified from holding office, but he's not disqualified from running for office. And if he were removed from the ballot in Colorado, as the Colorado Supreme Court found he should be, Congress might act in the meantime to exercise our two-thirds oh. authority to remove the disability from Donald Trump. Now, that's obviously an extravagant oh. hypothetical because we know there's not a two-thirds majority in Congress to remove his insurrectionist disability. But nonetheless, it's a fair legal point, and I do think the conservatives are congregating around it. Oh. If you do want to base this decision on hypotheticals, however, hypothetically... Um, the state legislature could still... We're here to they just cut to commercial. They cut to commercial. All right. I have so many thoughts about that. First of all, Jamie Raskin, the Democratic congressman who's talking there, seemingly has no clue what the fuck's going on. To be fair to him, I'm like 90% certain that he's doing this segment where he doesn't have a monitor to show Wolf Blitzer. Right? He's just talking into a camera and he only can hear what's going on on the other side. So he doesn't know Wolf is sitting there like, he has no idea. And so he's just, for him, this, hey, he's, this is hunky dory. I'm, you know, going for a walk in the park in, uh, in the afternoon here. There's nothing. To poor Wolf, oh my God, he's sitting there. He's sitting, from the very beginning of this clip, it's, here, I'm gonna play it. As I talk here, I'll play it and I'll put it on mute. But dude, you can see his face. Homie is struggling. Now, by the way, I can relate to this because apparently the producer is not paying attention, right? The producer, it, it should be looking at what's going on, adjusting on the fly, should have cut to just Raskin way earlier, but they didn't, they didn't see what's going on. And that's something I can relate to. I've never had it to this extreme degree where I'm about to puke on air, but I've had it where like I'm hitting my vape or I'm scratching my nuts or I'm leaning back in my chair and I have terrible posture and you got the camera that's, you know, it was focused on your guest and it cuts back to you and the guest. And then you see me like sitting there all hunched back in the chair, scratching my balls or taking a hit of my vape or whatever. And so I can actually relate to the whole like, God damn it. Why would you cut back to me at that point type thing? In this case, Wolf Blitzer is like, oh my God, look at him. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Oh, it's so hard. In this point, he's repeatedly like, mm, I'm going to throw up. 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 And then finally they cut away and you can actually hear. He starts to really retch when they go to Jamie Raskin. You get them. Yeah. So apparently they forgot to, maybe they did cut his mic. Maybe he actually did throw up, throw up, and they cut his mic. So all you heard was the beginning retching. But no, I feel terrible for him here, man. I feel terrible for him. This is, uh, this is an absolute nightmare. And then when they cut back, yeah, it looks like when they cut back, he's not even there anymore. He's not even there anymore. They send in somebody else. Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, that's bad. This job, as a general rule, is actually, it's lovely, right? Hey, I get to come out here and talk about the news and tell you what I think, and then we move on. Wolf's a little different. He's just a robot. He reads the teleprompter, but um, he tried to fight through it like a champ, and he just couldn't. There was only, I think, one time that I, uh, I had to stop a show. Like, I started a show, but I was sick, and I had to say, like, I got to call early because I'm just, I felt too terrible to even talk. Um, like, right now, I'm a little sick. You could hear it in my voice, but... 
it's not the kind of sick where I'm about to throw up or whatever. So, you know, you're able to do it. But he tried to fight through like a champ, but uh, he wasn't able to do it. And poor fucker definitely puked all over the set. And uh, we got this horrific video as, as a result of it. So I actually feel for him. This is the first and last time I'll ever uh, give Wolf Blitzer credit. But, you know, he tried to white knuckle it and just couldn't get through. And uh, the result was disastrous. His ass should be in bed, man. Should be in bed. I, everybody's getting sick. Everybody's getting sick. Look, in our household, I swear to God, every two weeks or three weeks, somebody's sick. And then it rips through the rest of the house. One person gets it and then everybody ends up getting it. Because you know how kids are when they're sick. They just put their face right next to you and don't even think about the consequences of it. And, uh... Apparently, it's not just happening at our place. It's happening at Wolf Blitzer's place, too. All right, guys. That's the show. I love you all very much. Everybody, do me a big favor. Please like and subscribe. Um, if you subscribe, I'll throw up on air as well. Just kidding. That's disgusting. I will hopefully never do that. Um, you can always support the show if you'd like on Patreon. That link's below. Or tip on YouTube. That's below as well. The thanks button there. Thank you to everybody who does support this show. It wouldn't be possible without you guys. I've never had a conversation with an advertiser, so you guys help us. Uh, you know, from the, from the bottom up, fun this show, and I deeply, deeply appreciate it. I love all you. Everybody have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.